Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well we've certainly had uh, a lot of water. All my tanks now are overflowing but at least underfoot it's okay and I have uh, raised beds. We can still work uh, on the, the allotments and of course having containers too does also help. Well these Jerusalem artichokes now are I've about had the day. I'm going to select one uh, to reveal today uh, and then the rest I'll cut the tops off and take inside but they're pretty hardy plant and we'll discuss uh, that in a minute and my experiences with uh, Jerusalem uh, artichokes uh. so um, about six years ago I was watching a fellow YouTuber early in those days and I saw what a wonderful harvest he had of uh, Jerusalem artichokes grown in open ground massive quantities lovely great big tubers but I'd also seen people that said the Jerusalem artichokes they will escape they will take over your growing spaces so I lined one of my beds with plastic and planted them they escaped so another year i put them in um, a, a, a big blue container with the bottom cut off that was fine but i struggled to harvest them and i like them small so if you want large tubers use a large container but make sure they can't escape they are a very hungry plant give them a feed when you first plant them then I don't really feed them after that but I do reuse the compost because even the slightest little bit of root and you'll lose them they'll uh, they'll reproduce so so easily I like the small tubers for my uh, lunch box and it saves cutting them but just be wary of ha when you plant them I, I think I had about six to eight tubers and it was about 24 pounds but these I, 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 they're so easy to save and uh, re sow basically I'll be replanting these again uh, in uh, December January depending on my last harvest but let's have a little look we've got uh, a dot there we'll try and get that out I think the frost has gone out the ground now that we had this morning it did catch my uh, Christmas potatoes but what you can do, you can lift this up and then just harvest what you want. Now, that's the ideal size for me. Cracking little tubers, but all I planted was one tuber this size. And basically, these smaller ones, I'll just pop them off uh, and make sure they get a, a good wash. So this is ordinary soil but you can see here this is the the main stem and there's the little ones growing they uh, like I say they are very prolific so you, if you drop this into your soil if it was a bit smaller let's say uh, it would be uh, away so you just have to be very careful I'll put all this back into the pot add some nutrients and we'll be away so let's just shake this off see if you can get an idea how they grow there we go that's one of the stems lovely snack size that's got to be an excuse me moment if it hadn't got so much soil on it but this is one tuber remember so you just have to be careful of the roots these are lovely and clean I love the shape these are ideal for me if they're too horrible looking or a bit uh, manky I'll just get rid of them but uh, you can see here now they're all sitting on this one stalk won't find the old one I don't think he says 
but considering they've had very very little nutrients there's a helicopter going over there so we can presume the tuba was down here it's thrown all its roots out it's traveled up all the roots are growing off and like we showed you on the other one as they grow up uh, you get all the little ones uh, these will go in the green bin at home to be composted properly and if I left that in there we'd probably end up getting another harvest uh, like that so we'll just have a little scrap through this I'll collect all the rubbish get that ready to go home and we'll see what we've got from one tuber now I'll just give them a bit of a clean and uh, I'm just going to find the most ugliest one that maybe I don't really want to uh, to eat we'll go for that one and what I'm going to do there's the harvest let's get this one planted back into uh, here and I'm going to just put a little bit of 6x in there that uh, I've got or the equivalent to uh, 6x and uh, well there's the uh, old tuba completely spent out uh, I'll uh, put that with the rest so we'll have this one a bit of this soil back in the bottom a little bit of 6x organic pop that on top so there goes the tuba and we'll put all the compost in the top so that will start growing when it wants to not when we tell it to it's like potatoes they'll start growing early on we'll put a bit more 6x on the top just because I've got it here with me now. Very minimal. And we'll uh, top everything up. I'll get a label, put today's date, and we'll see what happens. Well, there we have the label. I can't spell Jerusalem artichoke. I'll uh, get it written down and put on the label. But it's the 2nd of November today. I'll get these weighed and add to the uh, hashtag Shed Wars. Uh, Mandamu harvested some of her Jerusalem artichokes in a large container and they were a lovely size. So I'll see if I can put that, her video, uh, on the end screen for you to have a look at and then maybe consider subscribing to her channel uh, great supporter of my channel and I will pin her comment if I pin her comment all you do is press on her profile circle that will take it to her channel then you can have a little look round if I can't get the end screen uh, to work hope you found that interesting please put in the comments your experiences with Jerusalem artichokes we know they give us wind uh, that will probably give me wind uh, within an hour and in the office trying to hold it in is sometimes impossible um, <laughs> but anyway happy gardening to you all till next time my friends ta for now Excuse me.
Whoops. What a waste. 